Hi guys and welcome to another video. Uh, as you can see we're down at the caravan again. I can't sit down because all the cushions are set up for winter like we did in our previous video. So if you need to know how to do that just pop along to the previous video and have a look. Okay, today's video then. What I'm going to be doing today is um, just showing you our top 10 modifications that we've made to our caravan. Um, just to show how easy it is, you know, especially if you've got an older caravan, uh, to be able to bring it into um, modern standards, you know, the 2020 and, and everything else that goes with it, you know, from LEDs and everything else. So we'll show you what we've done. And then um, if you're interested in knowing how we did them, just drop a comment in the uh, comment section and um, we will um, do a video on those particular things and how to do them. Okay, so firstly what I want to say is uh, thank you to the uh, the 25 subscribers that we have for your support. It's been fantastic. Uh, it drives us on, it keeps us going. I just want to make a special mention to Stu, Tracy and little Megan. So hi Megan, how are you doing? You know, you know on YouTube, little darling. Um, they've been brilliant. They've been really supportive. Um, you know, they always comment on our videos and it's for families like you is the reason why we do these videos and uh, they sent us a video uh, because they went to one of the locations that we went to um, you know on the back of the inspiration from the video that we did so um, we'll, we'll have a look at that now hello the Shackletons say hello 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 hi we're on his way to Beacon Fell uh, we've watched your videos as we always do um, this is Megan and this is Tracy and I'm Stu. Uh, we just find your videos inspirational. Um, what a nice family you've got, and I just think, yeah, fantastic, brilliant. So I'll keep up the good work, and uh, we're going to have a set off now. So it's not that far, but I'll uh, I'll keep you posted. Bye. There we go. Yeah, see, so it just goes to show that um, our videos are getting out the right message. Um, so thank you again, Stuart and Tracy and little Megan. Um, plugging you there to darling, today, darling. So there you go. Um, right, on the back of that, what I want to do is just talk about why we are doing the YouTube channel that we are. Um, we're a relatively young family. There's myself, there's my wife, Danielle, and there's girls, Erica and Megan. Um, you know, we're not a rich family. We live on a budget week after week after week. And um, we like to get out with the girls um, just give them life experiences and, you know, making memories and learning new skills and showing them that there's a big world out there and, you know, and, you know, and they're enjoying it. So then when, when they get older, this might be something that they want to do with their kids or they might sort of sit down and say, oh, we used to do this with mum and dad and we went here, we went there. And it's all positive uh, memories. Um, so, you know, that's one of the reasons why we do the channel. Uh, you know, and the other one, you know, there are families out there struggling financially uh, and, you know, you hear it all the time. Oh, I've got no money to go and do this. You know, I want to get out with the kids, but I've got no money. But we're showing that it doesn't have to cost anything to uh, to get out with the kids. Just have a look at the previous videos that that we've done. Um, you know, the you know our girls have, have an amazing time when they go out. And like I said, they're making memories and, you know, and it doesn't cost anything. You know, I mean, the lunch stuff that we take with us, 99% of it's already in the house. I mean, yes, we have a car, not all families do, um, but we throw a little bit of fuel in the car and, you know, we're off. Or, you know, if you don't drive, there there are alternatives. You can have a good day out in your local area. We did a video of um, the local area where we live. Um, just go and have a look at that, where we, you know, we left from the house and we had a good eight, nine mile walk with the girls. And again, you know, they, they had a great time. We just took a packed lunch with us and, um, you know, and it was really, really good. Um, you know, another thing I'd say, oh, well, it's cold, but, you know, there is equipment out there, you know, clothing, um, that, that, that you can buy you know for yourself and for the for the kids and you know and, and you can get out in the winter um, I mean <laughs> look at me now I mean yes we're in December so it's it's Christmas again so I'm wearing my Christmas turkey hat this comes out once a year uh, for a few weeks um, so so yeah this is why I'm wearing this one um, but you know there are things you can buy you know for the kids it's relatively cheap 
Um, so if you want uh, some information on that, just drop us a comment in the uh, in the comment section and we'll do a video on what clothing we've got for the girls uh, and what equipment we take. I mean, I've done a video on what equipment that we take, but if you want it more in depth for the kids, um, please just drop us a comment. Um, but yeah, you know, coming up from us over the next next couple of months, it's majority of it's going to be caravan related because we are caravanners as well as hikers and cyclists. So I will be doing a few caravan related videos, stuff you you know you do over the close season when you're not using the van, you have a bit of downtime, so you're not rushing because oh I've got to go away in the caravan in a week. You've got the time to get on with those jobs. So, so so yeah we've got that coming up i'm going to be doing a video on cleaning the caravan roof so that's coming up in january um and other videos are going to do you know we're going to be out walking throughout december and throughout the christmas um christmas break so i'm going to, going to be doing videos on um cooking hot food again out with the uh, out with the girls but um it's not going to be boiling you know boiling the bag stuff like we did uh up at beacon fell it's going to be another thing you can use um, another method you know of cooking um, and the girls get involved and you know and they really enjoy it and they learn something plus they're also making a memory so you know we've got that coming up as well so uh, so yeah so I know I've waffled on a bit but I just wanted to give you an insight on why we do our channel and um, please 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 subscribe and you know it drives us on and it keeps us keeps us going keeps us motivated to make more content for you if you've got any um ideas on what content you would like us to cover drop us a comment and um just give us an idea um you know we'll be really appreciating if we can do it we'll do it um so so yeah that's pretty much it um just want to say to our present subscribers if you if you like the video please give us a thumbs up and a comment on the video rather than other platforms because doing it that way it helps us it helps the uh, the youtube analytics it helps get our video out there into search engines within youtube so so we appreciate the messages you send us you know they're really really sweet you know we all we love you all to bits but please drop them in the uh, in the comment section okay so thank you very much for that and for listening okay so moving on to today's video so yeah our top 10 modifications let's get started Okay, the first modification I'm going to look at is the stereo we have here. Now, this caravan is a 1992 um, Bailey Scorpio, and it didn't have a stereo system in here. So, um, you know, everybody likes a bit of music in the caravan. So, um, so yeah, I installed that. I pinched a uh, a live and um, and and an earth wire from from behind here, from from up at the control panel there and um, just installed that so um, if you want to um, know how i did that i can uh, can do a video and show you how to do it okay the uh, the second modification that, um, that that we're really proud of is this uh, is this control panel it has five channels here we're only using two of them um, so there are three extra channels we can use there um, now you know it didn't have you know things like usbs and you know the old um, cigarette lighter um, plug for want of a better phrase and uh, more usbs there um because you know the modern age um and the girls with ipads and phones and everything else um you know it needed bringing up to uh, to modern standards now behind here we used to have the old uh, the two pin system for you know, from the early 90s now um yeah obviously you know they're outdated now so uh, we decided to um, install a new control panels i mean this control panel itself was relatively cheap it's only, it's only about 25 quid on uh, on ebay and um you know so i so i just installed it and, and i ran a you know a cable from here all the way down to the fuse box at the bottom and um and yeah you know you fired it up and it works great and um, we also installed two more usbs up here which runs directly off this so um so yeah but like i said there are three extra channels there which we can use that um, have lives and, um, and and you know neutrals ready to go so all i need to do is just plug into them whatever device i want to install you know permanently fix then um you know we have that capability to do that but it does bring it up to uh, to modern standards and it gives us a bit of flexibility if we want to install a new technology I don't know if you can see that um, solar panel there because I'm just standing on tiptoes from from there from the ground up. But uh, but yeah, that's our solar panel there. Um, okay, yeah. So we've got um, a video of our uh, solar panel there. Yeah, it's a bit mucky on the roof, but um, yeah, we'll sort that in January, like I said. 
uh, there's the uh, the control panel for it and as you can see the wire coming down here that I drilled through the um, the caravan roof um, obviously measured it so I weren't hitting anything important brought that down filled it with um, with, with, with non-setting sealant uh, both sides and, and ensured it was uh, watertight um, and then obviously you know connected it up here and this what this wire here that goes directly down to the battery um, so yeah this tells you um, that the solar panel is working and this tells you that the solar, solar panel is charging the battery uh, when the battery is full this green light flashes um, and then on the other side we've got a switch here uh, connected to two wires there now that those two wires are for the light out in on the side of the caravan under the front window which i will show you shortly but yeah the uh, the solar panel itself and and that was really really easy to install and um yeah it was you know and yeah you've got to be brave you're drilling through the roof of the caravan but um but yeah you know it's relatively straightforward so if you want some information on on how i did that um, then just drop us a comment and uh, and i'll take you through it okay moving on to our next um, modification this one's a bit of a big one it's the entire bathroom now um you know it was very 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 outdated in here um so i completely ripped it out um i'll just show you now what it looked like before okay so there you go now you've seen what it used to look like to what it looks like now um you know it's um it, yeah it's beautiful in here i mean these lights up here they're leds which have um, stuck to the back of this panel just so it backlights it rather than the light being here where it used to be um so 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 yeah it's um yeah it's much better it's a much more pleasant place to be and um and yeah so that's our next modification okay i know it's a bit messy on here but this was our next modification that we did um we installed a new worktop and new sink and tap in the kitchen area to give us a bit more workspace uh, again i'll just show you what it used to look like Okay, now you see what it used to look like, and um, yeah, as you can see, there's a lot more workspace here, and it's a lot more modern um, and easier to uh, easier to use. Um, so there we go. And while we're here, I just want to show you these. Now, I did a video earlier earlier on where we closed the caravan down for winter, and we showed you what um, dehumidifiers we use. Um, and like I said, there are plenty of others on the market, and um, the, here's examples. Um, we bought these three we're going to dot them around the caravan as well as the extra one so it just gives us that a little bit of security you know uh, uh, for capturing moisture for want of a better word so these ones are different flavors and um, we've got lavender we've got um, vanilla and we've got strawberry uh, and again you know they're only a couple of quid each and uh, just dot them around the caravan and these will last right through till till the spring because they are absolutely brilliant so there you yeah, go yeah the next modification we did was installed a uh, an extra fuse box in the in the bedroom area now it's tucked behind that panel here um, I'll just get a, a picture of it for you uh, from from where we bought it from so you know what type we're using so there we go okay like I said yeah it's tucked tuck behind here and um, it's got an inline fuse um, down here and one at the other end as well just to give us that extra bit of um, uh, security and safety but uh, but yeah it works a treat and again there are plenty of banks left on there if you want to install anything 12 volt down in this end because we felt we needed the usb chargers for my wife and i for our phones um, and um, all the led lights throughout here and the new um, bedroom lights well bedroom night lights that i installed all run from that particular fuse box so it just makes life a little bit easier when you're trying to modernize your uh, your caravan okay another uh, modification we made is new um Hakey style uh, roof lights now we'd had the old um, the old push-up system and you know the frosty glass on here well frosty perspex rather 
um, but yeah you know it wasn't letting in any light so um, so we installed these um, these here and if we move down to the the bedroom area we installed one there and um, just move down here excuse the camera moving around uh, we installed one in the in the bathroom as well uh, and you know the great I mean you can obviously you can close off you know the blind and you've also got a fly screen if you want to open them in the winter well, in, in the summer when, when it's warm at least you're not going to get any bugs in your van and you know they're great they're absolutely brilliant they're a, they cost roughly around 90 quid each and you can get them off ebay or there are plenty of caravan um, parts suppliers out there which you can you can access them from um, and you know they're really really easy to install you know it's not rocket science um, but it's a matter of um, four screws in each side so you've got 16 screws there which sandwich it together you've got to get the um, the non-setting sealant to run across the top but there is a little channel underneath that you put it through um, so, so so yeah it's a relatively easy job but um, there are plenty of videos out there on YouTube that shows you how to do it installing these three took me around about half a day so um, but you know the benefits of them you know they're absolutely superb right moving outside the van now um, there's me hello um, I'm talking about the um, an awning light I mean obviously we've I installed a new one let's just go back down here because the sun's getting in my eyes a bit I installed a modern LED light up here because it had the old like bunting with a little switch on it whereas now I can turn this on from inside the van um, but um, you know when it's dark I mean your awning stops roughly about here so um, you know when it's dark you need something on this side you know so it's lighting up this area so I installed this got it from eBay I mean this runs directly from the solar panel uh, that I showed you earlier I said there was a connector there so that runs directly off solar and it's a really really bright light um, you know it's superb and they have them on the modern caravans but um, but yeah I thought you know it, what a really good idea so so yeah installed that too um, yeah and obviously run the uh, non-setting sealant round all the way around and inside as well um, to prevent any water ingress another modification we made was uh, we installed um, an alcohol hitch on here um, it had the old um, the old system that we needed a snake master um, stabilizer bar for which was a pain in the arse installing plus you needed an extra bracket on your car so you know I mean I've, I've got a really really bad back so it was causing me more and more problems so I went out and bought this yes it's roughly about 200 250 quid for this but um, you know it's really easy to install it's just a matter of a couple of couple of bolts you need a special tool for this um, but um, but yeah once it's on there it's uh, it's a brilliant piece of kit so yeah it's well worth having okay the next modification we made was um, these these marker lights here and and here and and over there on the other side and um, all the way around just go around to the back of the caravan um, these marker lights here and over there and the uh, and the lights at the bottom as well we changed all these for uh, for uh, LEDs it's less drain on the battery and um, you know they're reliable you know they're lovely and bright and it brings it up to uh, to modern standards so you're not messing around changing bulbs all the time and you know and, and they all work absolutely great you can get them on eBay um, or other shopping platforms for the want of a better phrase um, but there you go but the only thing is with these LED lights at the back when you've got the um, the indicator alarm in the back of your car you'll need to put a transistor on them uh, at the front so you've got to put that in, in the way you've got to earth it and then put it in the power because it gives you that extra power to um, to activate for the ones for a better word the alarm in the car but I mean again that's a nice easy job um, so so yeah if you wanted information on how we did them then please 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 just drop us a comment time for a well-earned brew um, yeah so there you go there's our top 10 modifications we have done others but those are our uh, our top 10 those are the ones that uh, we really wanted to um, get on with and solve problems um, you know we're bringing the caravan into the modern age it's keeping it going because uh, you know brand new caravans aren't cheap and uh, you know we love this van you know we've done so much to it and we've made so many memories in it and we want to keep it um, there are a lot of YouTubers out there who have got all singing, all dancing caravans, but there are parts of the caravan community that have got older vans and, um, you know, and want to change things, but they don't know how or what to do. So, 
so there you go there's a few tips on uh, on what we've done um, if you have seen anything on there that um, you think that you want to change and you don't know how to do it then please 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 just drop us a comment and um, we will do a video on how we did it so um so there you go i hope you've got some valuable information today and thank you for your support and if you haven't subscribed please 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 subscribe because we've got so many other caravan related videos many hiking related videos coming up and um we've also got a cycling expedition we're doing with the girls next summer it's going to be a nine days 175 mile expedition so we'll be doing a daily blog on that and previous to that we'll be doing the uh, the preparations that we're going to do so please subscribe hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on those so so yeah thank you for watching please give it the thumbs up and uh, leave us a comment uh, on your thoughts and um, please 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 keep supporting us and um, we love you all to bits and we will see you in the next video so from home from home with the shackletons well i'm here on my own the girls are at home watching christmas movies um i will see you well we will all see you in the next video so take care and bye bye